good afternoon one and all today i am going to continue the uh, solving the problems regarding the laplace transformation that is application to the laplace transform that is you have to solve by simultaneous equations solve the using laplace transform method dx by dt plus y is equal to sin t dy by dt plus x is equal to cos t under the conditions x of 0 equal to 2 and y of 0 equal to 0. The given two equations that is dx by dt plus y is equal to sin t and dy by dx plus x is equal to cos t. Now, this two using these two equations you have to find out x and y uh, by using solving by using the under the conditions x of 0 equal to 2 and y of 0 equal to 0. Sir, here yeah, dx by dt plus y is equal to sin t can be rewritten as x dash plus y dash uh, x dash plus y is equal to sin t and dy by dt can be written as uh, dy dash plus x is equal to cos t. So, here now you can apply the Laplace transform derivative formula. So, here you know, before that you can apply the Laplace transform on both sides L of x dash plus L into y is equal to L into sin t. Similarly, L of y dash plus L of x is equal to L into cos t. So, now we can apply the Laplace transform derivatives. Laplace transform derivatives, you know, L of x dash can be written as S into L of x minus x of 0, uh, x of 0 plus L of y is equal to L of sin t can be written as 1 by S square plus 1. Next, second equation, L of y dash can be written as S into L of y minus y of 0 uh, plus um, L of x is equal to L of cos t is S divided by S square plus 1. So, here after writing these equations, you can use the boundary conditions. So, here now, x s into l of x s into l of x minus x of 0 plus l of y is equal to 1 divided by s square plus 1 here s into l of y minus y of 0 plus l into x is equal to s divided by s square plus 1. Now, you can use the conditions. x of 0 is given 2. In place of x of 0, you can write 2 and in place of y of 0, you can write 0. Now, this can be rewritten as s into l of x minus 2 plus l of y is equal to 1 divided by s square plus 1. The next equation is s into l of y plus l of x is equal to s divided by s square plus 1. Here calls equation 1. Before that, this minus 2 you can transfer to LHS, RHS. Then what you get? s into l of x plus l of y is equal to 1 by s square plus 1 plus 2 calls equation 1. Here s into l of y plus l of x is equal to s divided by s square plus 1 calls equation 2. Now, your intention is uh, to eliminate either l of x, l of x or l of y. You have to make it one equation. See, so, now here this is uh, s into l of x s into l of x plus l of y is equal to 1 divided by s square plus 1 plus 2 and s into l of y plus l of x is equal to s divided by s square plus 1. Now, you can eliminate any one either l x or l y. Now, you can now you can make it l you can eliminate l of y then l of y here s is there you can multiply by first equation multiply by s first equation multiply by s what do you get here s square l of x plus s into l of y is equal to s divided by s square plus 1 plus 2 s. Here the second equation you can write as it is s into l of x l of y plus l of x is equal to s divided by s square plus 1. Now you can subtract. Here subtract change the sign. So, here plus s into l of y and minus s into l of y will get cancelled. What is the remaining term? 
here s squared l of x and l of x then you can take l of x common s squared minus 1 into l of x s squared minus 1 into l of x remaining here also this s my s by s squared plus 1 minus this uh, will get cancelled remaining is 2s So now after getting s squared minus 1 plus l of x is equal to 2s then what you get here this s squared minus this l of x keep it as it is s squared minus 1 you can transfer to uh, rhs then l of x is equal to 2 divided into s divided by s squared minus 1. So here after getting it to L of x is equal to 2s divided by s squared minus 1. Now x is equal to L inverse of 2s divided by s squared minus 1. So here this is equal to 2 take outside L of inverse s divided by s squared minus 1. Then 2 is equal to 2 into L of inverse um, s by s squared minus 1. So here now can you apply the inverse Laplace transform L of inverse s by s squared minus 1 can be written as t is equal to 2 into cos hyperbolic t 2 into cos hyperbolic t. So here after getting x is equal to 2 cos hyperbolic t now we want to find out y. So here we want to find out y. Now you can differ x can differentiating with respect to t then x is equal to 2 cos hyperbolic t x is equal to 2 into cos hyperbolic t differentiating with respect to t. So, if you differentiating with respect to t, differentiating with respect to t, here dx by dt is equal to 2 into cos hyperbolic t can be written as sin hyperbolic t. So, now use the equation dx you know dx by dt imply the, you can find out y then you can use the first equation what is the first equation given in the problem dx by dt plus y is equal to sin t dx by dt plus y is equal to sin t see so, now the, you have to find out y value dx by dt can transfer to rhs then y is equal to sin t minus dx by dt. Now you know already dx by dt is find out. The dx by dt values t psi 2 sin hyperbolic t can substitute. Then y is equal to sin t minus 2 into sin hyperbolic t. See here when x is 2 cos hyperbolic t and y is sin t minus 2 sin, 2 sin hyperbolic t. So, you are using the first two simultaneous equation after solving and using the boundary conditions you get the you get the solution is x is equal to 2 into cos hyperbolic t and y is equal to sin t minus 2 sin hyperbolic t this is the required condition uh, solution. Next solve the following solve the following simultaneous differential equation by using Laplace transform x dash minus 2y is equal to cos 2t then y dash plus 2x is equal to sin 2t given that x of 0 equal to 1 and y of 0 equal to 0. Now you can use these two equations you can use these two equations see here what you get x dash x dash minus 2y x dash minus 2y is equal to cos 2t and another equation is y dash plus 2x y dash plus 2x is equal to sin 2t sin 2t and given condition is x of 0 equal to 1 and y of 0 equal to 0. See so now x dash minus 2y is equal to cos 2t, y dash plus 2x is equal to sin 2t is given. Now you can apply the Laplace transform on both sides. Then it becomes L of x dash minus 2 into L of y is equal to L of cos 2t. Next second equation is L of y dash plus 2 into L of x is equal to L of sin 2t you can apply. See here, if you apply L of x dash, L of x dash can be written as S into L of x 
L of x dash can be written as S into L of x minus x of 0 minus 2 into L of y is equal to L of cos 2 t. L of cos 2 t can be written as S divided by S square plus 4. Next second equation L of y dash can be written as S into L of y minus y of 0 plus 2 into L of x is equal to L of sin 2 t means 2 divided by S square plus 4. See now you can use the bound, bound conditions x of 0, x of 0 is equal to 1 and y of 0 equal to 0 you can substitute in these two equation. Now it becomes S into L of x minus x of 0 value is 1 you can substitute minus 2 into minus 2 into L of y is equal to S divided by S square plus 4. Here y of 0 value is 0 you can substitute S into L of y uh, my plus 2 into L of x is equal to 2 divided by S square plus 4. So, here after substituting the in conditions, you get S into L of x minus 1 into minus 2 L of y is equal to S divided by S square plus 4 and S into L of y plus 2 into L of x is equal to 2 divided by S square plus 4. Now, this minus 1 you can transfer to RHS, then it implies that, it implies that S into L of x minus 2 into L of y is equal to S divided by S square plus 4 plus 1 you get one equation. Another equation is S into L of y plus 2 into L of x is equal to 2 divided by S square plus 4. You get the, these two equations. Now, you have to solve these two equations. You have to solve these two equations. Now, if you solve the, these two equations, what do you get? Here, you have to eliminate x. You have to eliminate x. If you want to eliminate x, here S L x is there, here 2 L x is there. First equation multiply by 2, first equation multiply by 2 and second equation multiply by S. First equation have to multiply by 2 and second equation multiply by S. Then what you get? This equals two s l x you have to multiply by two here minus four into l of y is equal to two s divided by s square plus four plus two you have to equation one multiply by two then equation two multiply by s means s squared into l of y here s into s squared plus two s into l of x next plus equals 2s divided by s square plus 4. Now, you can subtract. If you subtract, change the sign. If you subtract, change the sign. See here, here 2s l of x minus these two term will get cancels. See now, subtracting what you get here, this minus into minus becomes plus what you get here, s square minus this become plus s square plus 4 into L of i is the LHS, then this is this also will get cancelled, remaining is 2. So, here, here S square plus 4 you can transfer to S square plus 4 you can transfer to RHS, then L of y is equal to 2 divided by S square plus 4. So, here, now this L of y is equal to 2 divided by S square plus 4, then y is equal to L of inverse 2 divided by S square plus 4. Now, you can apply the inverse. If the inverse, you can use the formula L of inverse 2 divided by S square plus 4 can be written as sin hyperbolic 2 t, sin hyperbolic 2 t, sorry, not sin hyperbolic, that is sin 2 t, sir. sin 2 t. This can be written as sin 2 t. Sir, so, y is equal to sin 2 t. Now, you can find out x value by using the given problem. What is the given problem? x, you have to find out x, x uh, y dash, y dash plus 2 x is equal to sin t, y dash is equal to y dash plus 2 x is equal to sin 2 t. Sir, so, y dash means, sir, so, y dash means dy by dt, 
प्लस टू एक्स इज इक्वल टू साइन टू टी नाउ टू एक्स इज इक्वल टू दिस यू कैन ट्रांसफर साइन टू टी माइनस डी वाई बाय डी टी देन एक्स इज इक्वल टू देन एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू यू कैन ट्रांसफर वन बाय टू इनटू साइन टू टी माइनस डी वाई बाय डी टी then x is equal to 1 by 2 sin 2t minus dy by dt see and now you know the y value y is sin 2t what is y value is y is sin 2t y is equal to sin 2t y is equal to sin 2t now differentiating with respect to t if differentiating with respect to t Then dy by dt is equal to cos 2t into 2. If differentiating with respect to t is dy by dt is equal to cos 2t into 2. Now you can substitute x is equal to 1 by 2 sin 2t minus 2 into cos 2t. Now you can multiply this 1 by 2. This is equal to sin 2t by 2, and 2 will get cancelled minus cos 2t. This is x value. See here. After solving the two equations, simultaneous equation, you are getting y is equal to sine two t and x is equal to one by two sine two t minus two into cos two t. This is the required solutions. See, next problem is solve using the Laplace transform d squared y by dt squared minus three dy by dt plus two y is equal to e to the power of three t. Given that. Y of zero equal to zero and y dash of zero equal to zero. So what is the given equation? Is the given equation is d squared. Given equation is d squared y by dt squared minus three dy by dt minus three dy by dt plus two y is equal to e to the power of 3t the initial condition is y of 0 equal to 0 and y dash of 0 equal to 0 both the conditions are 0 now you can now y d squared y by dt squared minus 3 dy by dt plus 2y can be written as y double dash minus 3y dash plus 2y is equal to e to the power of 3t first now you can apply the laplace transform What is the apply the Laplace on L of y double dash minus three into L of y dash plus two into L of y is equal to L of e to the power of three t. See now once you can apply the Laplace transform, we can use the Laplace transform derivative form formula. What is the Laplace transform derivative formula? L of y double dash can be written as y squared into L of y minus Yes into y of zero minus y dash of zero. This is L of y double dash formula. Then remaining is minus three into L of y dash formula is yes into L of y minus y of zero close the bracket plus two into L of y is equal to L of e to the power of three t can be written as one divided by yes minus three. So after Applying the Laplace transform derivative formulas, now you can substitute the initial conditions. What is the initial conditions? Y of zero equal to zero. This is y of zero. This is zero. Then y dash of zero. The y dash of zero is also zero. Then y of zero also zero. Then yeah, sin to y of zero also zero. Y dash of zero. Then y of zero by using the initial conditions. Now what is the remaining term is see here y yes squared into y of y minus three into y yes sin to y of y plus two into y of y divided is equal to one divided by y yes minus three. Now all the term containing is y of y. See here here also y of y here also y of y here also y of y. You can take out y of y common. Then what is the remaining term? Y yes squared minus three y yes plus two into y of y. You can take common. Equal to RHS is one divided by y yes minus three. See here after getting this equation, y yes squared minus three y yes plus two. You can transfer to RHS. Then y of y 
is equal to 1 divided by s minus 3 into s squared minus 3 s plus 2 this is the L of y. Then L of y is equal to 1 by s minus 3 into s squared minus 3 s plus 2 this can be written as uh, L of y, y is equal to L of inverse 1 divided by s minus 3 into s squared minus 3 s plus 2. So here, here s squared minus 3 s plus 2 can be written as you can factorize it, s squared minus 3 s plus 2 you can factorization by using the quadratic formula or any method if this s squared minus 3 s plus 2 can be written as s minus 1 into s minus 2, here s squared minus 3 s plus 2 can be written as s minus 1 into s minus 2, this can be rewritten as this can be written as what you get y is equal to L of inverse 1 divided by see here s minus 3 as it is this s squared minus 3 s plus 2 can be written as s minus 1 into s minus 2 into s minus uh, s minus 2 s minus 1 s minus 2 and one more s minus 3 there you can write s minus 3 this is y is equal to L of inverse. Now, it is not possible to apply as it is for inverse Laplace transform because it is a three term is there. Now, you can solve by partial fractions. See here if you solve by partial fractions, this can be rewritten as 1 divided by 1 divided by s minus 1, s minus 2, s minus 3 can be written as a divided by s minus 1 plus b divided by s minus 2 plus c divided by s minus 3. You can split up into three parts. Then 1 a by s minus 1 plus b by s minus 2 plus c by s minus 3. Now, you can multiply throughout the equation by s minus 1 into s minus 2 into s minus 3. If you multiply throughout the equation by s minus 1 into s minus 2 into s minus 3, if you multiply LHS will this three term will get cancelled, LHS remaining is only 1. Then the RHS, if a by if you multiply s1 by s minus 1, s minus 2, s minus 3, s minus 1 will get cancelled, then a into s minus 2 into s minus 3 you are getting. See here next uh, second term s minus 2 will get cancelled remaining is s minus 1 into s minus 3 along with b, b is e b into what you get s minus 1 into s minus 3 plus c into s minus 3 will goes remaining is s minus 1 into s minus 2. See here after substituting after multiplying throughout the equation by s minus 1, s minus 2, s minus 3 we get this equations. Now your intention to find the values of a b c to find the values of a b c we give the values for s is equal to 1 and s is equal to 2 and s is equal to 3. See here if you put s is equal to 1 if you put s is equal to LHS is 1 here a becomes if you put s is equal to 1 minus 1 here minus 2 then b becomes this is 0 and c also 0 when put s is equal to 1 throughout the equation then b becomes 0 and c becomes 0 then here minus into minus plus 2 then a is equal to it implies that a is equal to 1 by 2. See here now again put s is equal to 2. If you put s is equal to 2 LHS is 1 a is 0 because s minus 2 here plus b into you can put s is equal to 2 2 minus 1 is 1 here 2 minus 1 is minus 1 then c is 0. So here if you put s is equal to 2 a becomes 0 c becomes 0, 2 minus 1 is 1 and 2 minus is minus 1, then b is equal to minus 1, b is equal to minus 1. So, here after getting a value, b value, now similarly you can find out c value, then how to find out the c value, put s is equal to, put s is equal to 3, if you put s is equal to 3, LHS is 1, a becomes 0, if you put s is equal to 3, b also 0 because s minus 3 is there then c is put s is equal to 3 minus 1 is 2, here 3 minus 1 is 1, then c is equal to what do you get here c is equal to 1 by 2. See here after substituting, here after putting the values s is equal to 1, 
S is equal to 2, S is equal to 3, you are getting A value is 1 by 2, B is minus 1, C is equal to 1 by 2. Now, you can substitute in these equations, A value, A value is 1 divided by 2 into S minus 1, B value is minus 1 divided by S minus 2 and C value is 1 divided 1 by 2 into S minus 3. So, after sub, uh, substituting, now you can apply the inverse transform. Then you can apply the inverse tra transform, what do you get? C y is equal to L in 1 by 2 into L inverse of 1 divided by S minus 1 minus L inverse of 1 divided by S minus 2 plus 1 by 2 into L inverse of 1 by S minus 3. So, now y is equal to 1 by 2 L inverse of 1 by S minus 1 can be written as 1 by 2 a constant, yeah, you can apply the inverse L inverse of 1 divided by S minus 1 can be written as e to the power of t minus L of inverse 1 by S minus 2 can be written as e to the power of 2 t. Next, uh, 1 plus 1 by 2 L inverse of S my uh, L inverse of 1 by S minus 3 is e to the power of 3 t, this is the required solutions. Next, using the Laplace transform method, using the Laplace transform method, solve d squared y by dt squared, d squared y by dt squared plus 3 dy by dt plus 2 y is equal to 0 under the conditions y of 0 equal to 1 and y dash of 0 equal to 0. So, what is the given problem is d squared y by dt squared d squared y by dt squared plus 3 dy by dt plus 3 dy by dt plus 3 dy by dt plus 2 y equal to 0. The given condition is y of 0 equal to y dash of 0 equal to 1, sorry y of 0 equal to 1 y of 0 equal to 1, then y dash of 0 equal to 0. Now, you can use this, uh, this is the given differential equation, now we have to find the solutions. Then, d squared y by dt squared plus 3 dy by dt plus 2 y equal to 0 can be rewritten as y double dash plus 3 y dash plus 2 y equal to 0. Now, you can apply the Laplace transform on both sides then L of y double dash plus 3 into L of y dash plus 2 into L of y equal to 0. So, here after applying the Laplace transform, you have to use the Laplace transform derivative formula. L of y double dash can be written as S squared L of y minus S into y of 0 minus y dash of 0 plus 3 into L of y dash, L of y dash means S into L of y minus y of 0 close the bracket plus 2 into L of y equal to 0. So, here after applying Laplace transform derivative formula, now you can use the initial conditions. What is the initial conditions? y of 0 equal to 1 and y dash of 0 equal to 0, then y dash of 0 equal to 0 means this is 0, then y of 0 is 1, here 1, here also 1. See so, now you can substitute y of 0 value, then s squared into L of y minus s into y of 0 is 1 plus 3 into s L of y minus y of 0 is 1 minus 3 plus 2 into L of y equal to 0. So, after substituting the initial conditions, now L of here also L of y, here also L of y, here also L of y, you can take common L of y. Then what is if you take L of y common is, remaining is S squared plus 3 S plus 2 into L of y, S square plus 3 S plus 2 into L of y. 
then what is the remaining term is minus s minus 3 equal to 0. See here this minus s and minus 3 you can transfer to RHS. What do you get? This s squared plus 3s plus 2 into L of y is equal to s plus 3. See here after writing s squared plus 3s plus 2 into L of y is equal to s plus 3 then s squared plus 3s plus 2 you can transfer to RHS then it becomes L of y L of y equals s plus 3 divided by s squared plus 3s plus 2. See here L of y is equal to s plus 3 divided by s squared plus 3s plus 2 then y you can keep it as it is L you can transfer it implies that y is equal to L of inverse s plus 3 divided by s squared plus 3s plus 2. See here after getting this equation you have to factorize it s squared plus 3s plus 2 s squared plus 3s plus 2 can be written as s plus 1 into s plus 2 by factorization method or you can use the quadratic formula. Then what you get y is equal to L of inverse s plus 3 divided by s plus 1 into s plus 2. Now it is not possible to apply the L inverse as it is because it is a two term is there, there is no formula. Now you have to solve by partial fractions. Now you have to solve by partial fraction. If you solve the partial fractions, what do you get? S plus 3 divided by S plus 1 into S plus 2, this can be written as A divided by S plus 1 plus B divided by S plus 2, B divided by S plus 2. See so, now s plus 3 divided by s plus 1 into s plus 2 the, this can be written as a divided by s plus 1 plus b divided by s plus 2 multiplying throughout the equation by s plus 1 into s plus 2. So, here if you multiplying throughout the equation by s plus 1 into s plus 2 LHS s plus 1 and s plus 2 will get cancelled remaining is s plus 3 this is equal to a into here RHS s plus 1 will get cancelled remaining is s plus 2 plus b into s plus 2 will get cancelled we get s plus 1 after multiplying the equals uh, after multiplying the term s plus 1 into s plus 2 we get s plus 3 is equal to a into s plus 2 plus b into s plus 1. Now your intention to find the values of a and b put a s is equal to minus 2 and put s is equal to minus 1 you get another value. So here if you put s is equal to minus 2 if you put s is equal to minus 2 then LHS is minus 2 plus 3 is 1 is equal to A becomes 0 because yes minus 2 plus 2 becomes 0 then P B into minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 then B is equal to minus 1. Next put S is equal to minus 1 if you put S is equal to minus 1 LHS minus 1 plus 3 is 2 then A is minus 1 plus 2 is 1 then b becomes 0 then a is equal to 2. After giving the values s is equal to minus 2 you get b value minus 1 after putting s is equal to minus 1 you get a is equal to 2. Now you can substitute here, here a value is 2 divided by s plus 1 b value is minus 1 divided by s plus 2. So here after substituting a value and b value now you can find out y is equal to L of inverse 2 divided by s plus 1 L of inverse 2 divided by s plus 1 minus L of inverse 1 divided by s plus 2 you can apply the L of inverse. So here L of inverse 2 is take outside L of inverse 1 by s plus 1 can be written as e to the power of minus t. What do you get? Here if you take out 2 common, if you take out 2 common, here what do you get? If you take out 2 common, here L of inverse 1 by s plus 1 is e to the power of minus t minus here L of inverse 1 by s plus 2 is e to the power of minus 2t. This is the required solutions. Next, solve 
using the Laplace transform, solve using the Laplace transform, solve using the Laplace transform y double dash plus 2 y dash plus 3 y is equal to sin t. When y of 0 equal to 0, y dash of 0 equal to 0. See here, here what is the given problem is? y double dash plus 2 y dash y double dash plus 2 y dash plus 3 y is equal to sin t. When y of 0 equal to 0 and y dash of 0 equal to 0, y dash of 0 equal to 0, both the initial conditions are 0. Then what is given y double dash plus uh, 2 y dash plus 3 y is equal to sin t. Now, you can apply the Laplace transform on both sides. What do you get? L of y double dash plus 2 into L of y dash plus 3 into L of y is equal to L of sin t. Now, you can apply the Laplace transform on both sides. Then L of y double dash plus 2 into L of y dash plus 3 into L of y is equal to L of sin t. See here in the LHS, you have to use the Laplace transform derivatives. What is the Laplace transform derivative formula? L of y double dash can be written as s squared into L of y minus s into y of 0 uh, minus y dash of 0. The, uh, this is the uh, for formula. Now, you can substitute what you get s squared L of y minus s into y of 0 minus y dash of 0 plus 2 into L of y dash. L of y dash can be written as s into L of y minus y of 0 plus 3 into L of y is equal to L of sin t. L of sin t can be written as 1 divided by s square plus 1. That is the formula. L of uh, sin t is 1 divided by s square plus 1. See here, after uh, using the Laplace transform derivative formula, we get this equation. Now, you can use the initial conditions. What is the initial conditions? Y of 0 is 0, y dash of y of 0 is 0 and y dash also 0 and here 1 y, y of 0, this is also 0 by using the initial conditions. See here, if you use the initial conditions, then y of 0 is 0, y dash of 0 and y of 0 also 0, then what you get? The remaining is s squared into L of y plus 2 into s L of y plus 3 into L of y. You can group the terms, take out L of y common, here also L of y, here also L of y, here also L of y, you can take out common, what you get? s squared plus 2s plus 3 into L of y is equal to 1 divided by s square plus 1. See here, after getting s squared uh, plus 2s, my s square plus 2s, uh, 2s plus 3 into L of y is equal to 1 by s square plus 1. Then here, this is minus, this is minus 3y, you can take make it this is minus, this is also minus, you can take out minus s square plus 2s minus 3 into L of y, then you can s square plus 2s minus 3 can transfer to RHS, then L of y is equal to 1 by s square plus 1 into s square plus 2s minus 3, this is the equation. See so, after getting this equation, see so here s square minus 2s minus 3 can be written as s minus 1 into s plus 3. Now, you can factorize it s square plus 2 s minus 3 can be written as s minus 1 into s plus 3. You have to make the factorization. This is equal to 1 divided by s square plus 1 here s minus 1 into s plus 3. Now, it is not possible to um, uh, solve that it is not possible to apply the inverse. Now, you can write y you can keep it as it is L you can transfer to RHS then L of inverse 1 divided by s square plus 1 into s minus 1 s plus 3. See so, now you can solve the partial fractions. 
you can solve the partial fractions what do you get you can write it 1 by you can solve the partial fractions what do you get 1 divided by 1 divided by s minus 1 s plus 3 s square plus 1 this is equal to a divided by s minus 1 plus b divided by s plus 3 and c divided by s squared plus 1 this is c divided because it is a quadratic form you can write c s plus d you can write c s plus d you can write. So, yeah, now multiplying throughout the equation by multiplying throughout the equation by s minus 1 into s plus 3 into s squared plus 1 if you multiply throughout the equation by s minus 1 into s plus 3 into s square plus 1. Now, LHS is 1, then A is s minus 1 will get cancelled, then s plus 3 into s square plus 1, right. Next plus B into s plus 3 will go, so remaining is s minus 1 into s square plus 1 plus C s plus D into here s square plus 1 will go so remaining is s minus 1 into s plus 3. Now, you can find the values of a, b, c, d value by giving the values of s is equal to 1. See here if you put s is equal to 1, if you put s is equal to 1, see here, here b becomes 0, then c, say c and d also become 0 then what you get here 1 plus 3 is 4 here to 4 into 2 is 8 then a is equal to 1 by 8 a is equal to 1 is equal to 8 a it implies that a is equal to 1 by 8. Now, you can put s is equal to minus 3 if you put s is equal to minus 3 a becomes 0 and c s plus d becomes 0 then if you put a is s is equal to minus 3 minus 3 minus 1 is minus 4 LHS is 1 then b into minus 4 then you can substitute minus 3 whole square means plus 9 9 plus 1 is 10 then 10 into minus 40 then b is equal to minus 1 by 40 b is equal to minus 1 by 40 after getting a, a value b value now you have intention to find out c and d put s equal to 0 what do you get if you put s equal to 0 this is 0 remaining LHS is a 4, 3 into a because 1 into 3 3 into a here s is this is 0 minus b here if s is 0 this is 0 then minus 3 minus 3 c s minus 3 d. Now, equating the coefficient of equ equating the coefficient of s squared and s cube. Now, you can find out other two equation. See here, you know a value is 1 by 8 and b is equal to minus 1 by 40. Then, what do you what do you get? D value is you can substitute d value is equal to minus 1 by 5. D value is minus 1 by 5 and what is c value is 9 by c value is 9 by 10 d value is minus 1 by 5 c is equal to 9 by 10 you can substitute then you can substitute a value b value c value and d value then what you get a is equal to 1 by 8 that is y equals see here y equal, you can substitute here a value is what you get 1 by 8 into s minus 1 plus b value is minus 1 by 40 into s plus 3 plus c value is 9 by 10 that is 9 s by 10 into s square plus 1 plus d value is minus minus 1 by 5 into s square plus 1. Now, you can apply the Lapla inverse Laplace transform. What do you get? If you apply the inverse Laplace transform, then this is equal to 1 by 8 this is y equals L inverse of 1 by s minus 1. Next, plus minus 1 by 40 L of inverse 1 by s plus 3 plus 9 by 10 L of inverse s by s square plus 1. Next, minus 1 by 5 L inverse 1 by s square plus 1. So, here you can apply the inverse. This is equal to 1 by 8. 1 by 8 L of inverse 1 by s minus 1 can be written as e to the power of t. 
minus 1 by 40, L of inverse 1 by S plus 3 is e to the power of minus 3 t plus 9 by 10, L of inverse S by S square plus 1 can be written as cos t minus 1 by 5, L of inverse 1 by S square plus 1 can be written as sin t, this is the required answer. Solve the differential equation, solve the differential equation, <coughs> solve the initial value problem using the Laplace transform d cube minus 3 d squared plus 3 d minus 1 y equal to 0. Given that y of 0 equal to 1, y dash of 0 equal to 1, y double dash of 0, then what is the given condition? y of 0 is 1, y dash of 0 equal to 1, then y double dash of 0 equal to 0. Now, you can apply the Laplace transform, then d cube can be d cube can be written as d cube d cube my d cube minus 3 d squared plus 3 d minus 1 into y equal to 0, this can be written as y triple dash minus 3 y dash plus 3 y dash minus 1 equal to 0. Now, you can apply the Laplace transform, what do you get? L y triple dash minus 3 into L of y double dash uh, plus 3 into L of y dash minus L y equal to 0. Then what do you get? L, L of y triple dash, you can, you can apply the Laplace transform derivative formula, S cube into L of y minus S square into y of 0 minus S into y dash of 0 is equal uh, S into y dash of 0 minus y double dash minus 3 into S square L of y minus S into y of 0 minus y dash of 0 plus 3 into a, S into L of y minus y of 0 minus L of y equal to 0. After applying the Laplace transform derivative formulas, now you can use the boundary conditions, uh, give the initial conditions, y of 0 equal to 1 and y dash of 0 equal to 1, y double dash of 0, you can substitute, we get S squared minus 3, S cube minus 3 S squared plus 3 S minus 1 into L of y minus S squared plus 3 S minus 3 equal to 0, you are getting after substituting the initial value problem. Now, you can uh, S, cube, S cube minus 3 S squared uh, plus 3 S minus 1, you can transfer to LHS, then L of y is equal to S squared minus 3 S plus 3 divided by S cube minus 3 S squared plus 3 S minus 1. So, here, here S cube minus 3 S square plus 3 S minus 1 can be written as S minus 1 whole cube. Then S square minus 3 S plus 3 divided by S minus 1 whole cube, you can have Y that can be written as Y is equal to L of inverse S square minus 3 S plus 3 divided by S minus 1 whole cube. Now, first you can solve by partial fraction, otherwise not possible to apply. Then S square minus 3 S plus 3 divided by S minus 1 whole cube equal to A divided by S minus 1 plus B divided by S minus 1 whole square plus C divided by S minus 1 whole cube. Now, multiplying throughout the equation by S minus 1 whole cube, it becomes S square minus 3 S plus 3 A into S minus 1 whole square plus B into S minus 1 plus C is remaining. Now, you can find out the values when S is equal to 1, you get C equal to 1. If you put uh, S is equal to 1, you get C value and similarly A value is 2 and B value is minus 1. Then you get 2 divided by S minus 1 minus 1 by S minus 1 whole square plus 1 by S minus 1 whole cube. Y is equal to 2 into L of inverse 1 divided by S minus 1 plus L inverse of 1 divided by S minus 1 whole square plus L inverse of 1 by S minus 1 whole cube. Now, you can apply the inverse formula, then Y is equal to what you get e to the power of t and e to the power of minus t into t and e to the power of t into e to the power of t square by 2 factor. This is the required result. Thank you. If, uh, ask, if asking any question, please ask the question through email or by phone. Thank you.